Welcome back to the Phoebe Way. If you're a returning subscriber, if you are new to this channel, it's your first time seeing me. My name is Phoebe, and this is the Phoebe Way. We talk about life in Germany, just helping each other as foreigners living in Germany to navigate through this whole German system and give each other tips on how to just survive, okay, throughout your stay here. I'm your girl, I'm your plug on all information life in Germany. So, when I posted, let me make bring this a bit closer so we can be closer when I posted oh and if you are a returning subscriber you're most welcome back okay and um, before I, I talk about what the topic is today please do share subscribe and comment down below so if it's on YouTube give it a like if it is a comment just say thank you for this or um, just say something about the topic so I know what you guys would want me to talk about because it's because of the feedback that I I can do make this video because sometimes I can't I don't know what to put out because I don't know what you guys want me to talk about so please do that and yes just keep your give, give me your support let me know that I'm your girl the way I see you as my people you know you know all right so when I made the previous video about um, the blue card. I've gotten few comments about the application process, what is needed, and all of that. And so let's just let's just get into it. The eligibility for the blue card, okay, it's for graduates in Germany. If you're outside Germany, it's a bit of a longer process for you, yes, but we can still talk about it. It's still possible for you to get it. So stick with me to the end. I'll do that as part. Let me say. This first part is the eligibility for people in Germany and the, how you can also come to Germany and do that. We'll talk about it in the other part, the second part of this video. I'm not going to make it in two parts. It's just going to be one swoop, okay? Good. So, if you have to be in Germany, you have to be a graduate in Germany. So, it could be a graduate for, of a university program, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or a vocational um, skill. So, a baker, a nurse. Um, you know, because, you know, in Germany, nursing is not a university course. It's like a vocation, Ausbildung. It's a training ship that you do. So, like that. And if your degree was acquired in Germany, it's good. It was acquired outside Germany, then you have to make sure that your degree is comparable to a degree in Germany and it has to be recognized. If you want to do that recognition, in German it's called Anerkennung. You go to this website I'm going to put right here. And then you go and get that done, the anerkennung, right? The anerkennung process can take a few months, depends on where you are and all of that. But let's just say roughly four to six months. They say four months, but just give yourself six months because another thing too is that in Germany, you need a lot of patience because when it comes to the authorities, as I'm, I've been saying, I've been seeing this this year of 2023, um, you need to have patience. Things just don't happen like that. They used to when I was much younger. It doesn't happen like that anymore. So, um, come with a lot of patience for this process, okay? Good. So, you have to be eligible, being that you are a graduate whose um, uh, certification is recognized in Germany, alright? That's the next thing. That's the first thing. The next thing is that you need to have the job. Either you have the job that you're already doing or you have a job offer that is binding. Okay, so they're already giving you a contract. They would tell me maybe you are starting the next month, the next two months. You know that you are going to start the job. That is very, very important because without the job, you can't have the blue card because as I said, it's for graduates working in Germany. That's one thing. The next thing, why is the sun so strong? That's so disrespectful. Because we've been talking about how the summer is going. The winter sun wants to show his cratcher powers. Anyway, so that is one thing. The, you have the certification. You are a graduate too. You have the promising job. Or you have the job that you're really doing. And the, it used to be the case that the job had to be in the field that you studied. So, for example, if you studied economics you cannot leave that field and go work in let me say IT okay those are two different um, professions 
and you don't you, you can't just jump like that but because of the new policy that has come out with the skilled um, Im skilled workers immigration act you can actually do that you can switch um, professions so you don't have to stay in your field of study okay that is the good thing and I hope that you take advantage of it good and then the next thing um, is that the money that you are earning per year has to be above or just at the threshold. So there were two groups that were the sought after professions and then the other professions. So the sought after professions, we talked about this in the previous video. I'm just going to put that information right here. So you have these two and that's it. Where do you go to apply? You go to the Austin neighborhood. You go to the Auslander Behörde to apply for the blue card. That is also another thing. So, one of the benefits about the blue card is that, one, you get to do your residence permits much quicker. So people, regular people would have to do their residence permits after five years. You, as the blue card, blue card holder, you can apply after just 33 months in Germany. That is a little bit over uh, under three years. So, three years, and if you have the B1, you can it has it will be shortened to 21 months so if you have the b1 it's shortened to 21 months if you have the um you don't have the b1 yet it's just 33 months so once you you cross your second year you can start looking into getting your needed license allowed this that is your residence permits right so that is one of the benefits another benefit is that your family can join you in germany much easier so when it comes to familiar to them to your own that is definitely a plus and for that there are also other requirements like in addition that you can sustain them you have enough room for accommodation and all of that so these are for example the benefits and this is what encourages other people and then if you are outside germany and you want to be able to get the blue card you can apply for a job outside germany okay you being, for example, in Ghana, in Nigeria, or whatnot, you can apply for a job outside Germany. It is not easy. It's a much more difficult thing to, to do because obviously the companies are going to look for people here. And if you are offering you a remote job, obviously it means that you can do it from outside Germany. So you getting the job outside Germany is a possibility, but it is not always easier. Okay, so when you get that, the job, you come, you go to the Behörde, the immigration office, and then you start your blue card process, providing that you meet the requirements. Another thing that you can do is that you can just come to Germany to study. Now, let me use this opportunity to explain something. Some people want to come to Germany to study, but they are connection men and the people are, some people are telling them about the language course visa. Mind you, the language course visa is just for you to come and do the language course, as the name suggests. You can come to Germany to learn the language, and then once you finish learning the language and your visa expires, you should leave. By law, you cannot convert this language course visa to another kind of stay. Okay. You can't work um, alongside. You can't um, study after that too, because it is just for the purpose of language, like language skill acquisition. That is it. So you come learn the language, the German language, and you go back. The other opportunity with combined with the language course is that you have actually gotten a, a slot like an admission at a university, but your course requires you to learn the German language. So the university will say, come to Germany, learn the language in preparation to your course. So you become it probably like a year before, six months before, like a semester before, a year before you do your language and then you start with studying. That is different from the language course visa. So you realize that for the other one where you can study the language, you actually have to get the students admitted, um, the admission as a student at the university first, and then you apply for a student's visa. But then the dates and everything, the, all the information will be there that you are starting studying later on, right? So that is one thing that you should look out for. I, I can't keep stressing this enough. It is basically like a Schengen 2 or the tourist visa. You come, you go. You can't overstay. Because once you overstay, it becomes illegal. Sometimes you go to the house on the behörde and they'll tell you, okay, because you have come to ask for an extension, we can only do it if you're doing an Ausbildung. 
that is different from a university program so the house building would be maybe a way for you to extend it but it's also not guaranteed so i'm not even going to stress on that too much good um so that is the language course we sent the whole mi mix up about it another thing that i want you to be aware of is that once you are coming to germany to study also have a long-term plan because if you want to get the blue card later then when you come you stick to your studies and then you when you graduate you apply for a job it doesn't have to be in your field but it has to be a graduate job you get it a job that you should be skilled to do once you get that job it falls within the threshold you apply for the EU blue card or the blue card and you get it obviously other EU countries also have the blue card of the color of the EU flag obviously blue and yellow blood blue card so when you have the blue card you have the other advantages as well I hope this video explains things better to you apart from that I think we have come to the end of today's video any other questions as I say um, send them to me and I wish you a great weekend and I see you on the next one bye